Hello and welcome back to All Things Marine and today we will be looking at the giant clam. If you are new to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you are interested in learning more about marine life. If you are interested in learning more about the ocean, marine life, anything like that, go ahead and click that subscribe button and if you're watching this, go ahead and smash that like button right now. Today we will be continuing our ocean classification on things that are found in the ocean. And we will be looking at our first bivalve today. We are under the phylum mollusca still, and we will be looking at our first bivalve under the class bivalvia, and it is called the giant clam or Tridacna gigas. The giant clam is five feet in width, and it is easily one of, if not the heaviest, mollusks in the world. It is found in the Indo Pacific, tropical Indo Pacific waters and it is a filter feeder and it feeds using its large siphon which is found in the center of the clam which filters particles such as plankton into the clam. However, the clam gets most of its nutrients from its symbiotic relationship with a type of algae called zooxanthellae which is also present in corals which is very interesting. The, the symbiotic relationship between these two allows the corals, or allows the zooxanthellae, which is the algae inside the clam's tissues. It uses the sunlight from, that it obtains as energy, much like photosynthesis, and it helps the clam get nutrients. If the clam did not have these zooxanthellae, then they would die in most cases. Giant clams are immobile as adults. They are stuck on the ocean floor. However, as children, they are mobile and they're free swimming clams. And fertilization of these clams is external. A clam will sense a chemical cue and then spray sperm or eggs, depending, into the water and that is how fertilization occurs. And an interesting fact about these creatures is that they always start life as males, but then they can turn into hermaphrodites, which is kind of interesting to note. And a lot of the times animals actually get trapped accidentally in, in the uh, clam when it shuts its shell. Thank you all so much for watching and if you enjoyed this video go ahead and drop a like and comment any of your favorite things you learned from this video and any questions you have for me I'm very happy to answer them and just leave suggestions or whatever you want to say in the comments below. Thank you so much.